I am going to give you an update and summary of all the HDR tricks we can use in this LG OLEDs on the PC and I'm also going to explain you why so you can see this and understand it a little bit better for yourself also in case you have a different display or a different OLED TV you can get a trick that looks like exactly like this basically so let me show you first the settings in case that you don't care <laughs> why you just want to play Evo West with HDR so the game doesn't support HDR I don't care <laughs> this looks fantastic so let me show you the settings we just need to first turn on HDR on Windows so we just come here turn on HDR on Windows and we max out this uh, slider okay just turn it on max out the slider then we go and we're going to come to fine tune dark areas and you lower fine tune dark areas to minus 30 okay if you are not using G-Sync because you want to use black throw insertion I'm also gonna give you the settings for that and explain you why so we just come here to fine tune dark areas minus 30 okay and then we come to all settings let me show you, let me show you the, the screen so we come here advanced settings brightness a screen brightness 49 and I'm going to explain you why exactly and then we're gonna use HDR tone mapping off and we just have full full range and full on the GPU so full on GPU full on the TV and we come here under uh, select mode 1113 111 to access this secret menu and we change master in peak to 540 and max CLL to 540 so why I recommend this as a general settings for everybody no matter what the LG OLED you have because I mean it does need to support G-Sync and all of that but I'm gonna give you an option if you don't have that available fine tune dark areas if you don't have fine tune dark areas available I'm gonna give you an option so why I recommend this instead of the HGIG trick that I was recommending before because this is going to work if you have a G2 for example if you have a different uh, OLED, LG OLED even in the future if it can do 1000 nits or more this is going to give you the same results as I can get on this 800 nit uh, TV so because you're going to push the brightness of that uh, display so with the HGIG trick you are not pushing the maximum brightness of your LG OLED if you have a more capable uh, OLED but with this option you will get the maximum brightness of your TV okay so we all get the maximum brightness of the TV by using this master and pick 540 max CLL 540 okay so this is a better uh, a better option because of that but it is equivalent to the previous trick that I shared with you so let me explain you why this is my recommendation on why this works and also in case you have a different display you can verify this uh, for yourself before I do that let me show you uh, the equivalent value so let's say you don't have G-Sync uh, you don't have this fine-tuned dark areas uh, because you have a different model it doesn't have that or because you want to use black from insertion so let's say I don't have fine-tuned dark areas so this would be and zero here and just change it to zero then what we're gonna use is the equivalent value here which is gonna be a screen brightness 41 okay so this is the same a screen brightness 41 instead of using fine tune dark areas minus 30 and screen brightness 49 and the difference between these two options is that fine tune dark areas affects the lower end of the gray scale so the mid tones are gonna be brighter by using the fine tune dark areas option but this is equivalent and it's gonna look fantastic too this is what I use for black film insertion so most of the time I use this for black film insertion so let me show you why 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 is that we have to do this and how do I know that these black level values are equivalent okay they are exactly the same they are equivalent okay so how do I know that let me show you I'm going to turn off the lights 
So, you know, I can just do a video showing you the game and a gameplay and telling you, oh, this is fantastic, it looks amazing. But I don't think that's gonna help you more than what I'm, what I'm gonna share you here. So I'm not trying to make this video fun. Uh, this is just a more detailed uh, video. So if you want to know why, okay? So let me show you with this test a pattern. And by the way, let me show you two screenshots of the game before we go there. So I took this screenshot. Is uh, the game is trying to do 472, 498 nits. So you see here the max CLL, 472. In this case, we have another case, maybe about the same. This one, max CLL, 472 nits. So the reason is when we max out this HDR slider, when we max out this, the max CLL we see on the games is 498, okay? So that's why I select that master in pick 540, okay? Because that's the closest value that I have. The, the lower value is 400 nits, so that's, that's, not, uh, that's not the best. So 540, so that's why the master in pick and the max CLL. So now I'm going to explain you why the black level so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the lights. And hopefully, you can see this uh, test pattern that I'm going to share on the video. So what we are looking for in this test pattern is to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the rest is crushed. And I'm going to explain you why. Let me turn off the lights so you can see and see if you can... Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so on the video, the last one might be crushed. So I can see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the rest is crushed. So let me explain you why. When we turn on HDR on Windows, so when we do this, just come here, turn on HDR, we max out this lighter. All the HDR information on Windows is limited. Okay, so let me go back to the way it is without lowering the black level so you can see this test pattern. Okay, so let me change this back to zero and screen brightness back to 50. So you will see that this test pattern is completely washed out and it is two rays. Okay, so by default, this is what you get. Okay, from 50, let me see if you can see this, the entire. Okay. All right. So you can see the entire test uh, pattern. I dropped my mouse. Okay. So that's how the test pattern looks. So if I force limit it on the TV, let me show you. If I come here to advanced settings, brightness, and I force limit the range, you will see that the entire pattern is visible is perfectly visible actually so if you open this test pattern on SDR let me let me take a look at the video yeah you can see it so if I open this test pattern on SDR this is the way it should look it is absolutely perfect so what that tells me is that all the SDR content in Windows is limited okay so here's what I do. I come here and what I do is I find the uh, screen brightness equivalent of forcing limited. And I find that option and that option is 46. So let me lower this to 46 and take a look at, this, at the test pattern. It's the same, okay, exactly the same. No difference whatsoever. So now what I do is I do both. So if I now go here and force limited, so we already verified that this screen brightness 46 is the same as forcing limited. So now if I do both, take a look at, this, at the test pattern now. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the rest is crushed. So that the reason why I do that is because the games 
are limited <laughs> inside that. Uh, so basically, you have all the SDR content in Windows. Let me turn on the lights again to explain. So basically, we have all the SDR content in Windows is limited inside that full HDR container, okay? And the games are limited inside that. So what we have to do for the black level to play games is we have to double limit, double limit the black level. And that's how we do it. So now let me show you, uh, let me show you a fine tune dark areas minus 30 and screen brightness 49. So you see that it is exactly the same. As, as this at 46 and forcing and forcing limited let me show you and as you see this test pattern doesn't get um, doesn't dim because I have TPC and GSR off on the service menu especially TPC is off otherwise you will see dimming after a while so you see my TV never dims no matter what I do it will never dim because I have TPC and GSR off on the service menu. So I'm going to change this to fine tune dark areas minus 30 and a screen brightness 49. So you see. Let me, let me do that. So screen brightness 49. Okay. And make sure that black level is in full. Okay. So now take a look at this at the test pattern. The same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the rest is crush. That's exactly what you're looking for. You see that they are equivalent values. So what about what I the settings that I gave you before with the HGIG trick? I said before, let's let's do this instead. Let's use fine-tune dark areas minus eleven. So we can do this. Fine tune dark areas minus 11. We are going to use a screen brightness 49. And we're going to force limit it and use HGIG. We come here, screen brightness 49. We're going to use HGIG. And we're going to force limit the range. Take a look at the screen, at the test pattern. It's the same. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the rest is crushed. Why? <laughs> because they are equivalent values. So why this HGIG trick works? Let me open the game so you see that it looks fantastic. Why this HGIG trick works on this LGC1 specifically? Because, let me turn on the lights. It works because the max CLL of the game is about 500 nits. And when you force limit it on the TV, that 500 nits max CLL becomes about 800. Okay, so that works. That works perfect for this LGC one. But if you have a G2, you are leaving brightness on the table. That's why, for a different TV, it is better. This first uh, variant that I share with you on this video, it is better to use that max mastering pick 540 and the max CLL 540. Because no matter what, the maximum brightness of your display, the display is going to basically push the brightness when you select that option. So there you go. <laughs> and also we have the options. Let me see if I am missing something here. I already explained you how to get oh HLG basically. If you have a console, uh, if you don't have uh, the option to use this trick, then you can force HLG over SDR, basically. So you have to have SDR on the console. So you turn off HDR on the console, open the game on HDR, and you come here to this secret menu. So you step on select mode, you do the same thing. 1113, 111. And then you change this EOTF to HLG, to this one, HLG. So now this is going to be washed out because... I have HDR on, okay? So you have to be on SDR because HLG is backwards compatible, okay? We are right now on ST2084, which is HDR, okay? So if you use HLG, then use dynamic tone mapping off 
So mapping off, and that's gonna give you the best result. I have a an update video coming about HLG with some minor tweakings to improve it a little bit, but the problem is the colors are inaccurate. But it looks fantastic, and I would definitely use HLG over SDR. So with this trick that I'm sharing with you, I'm sure the colors are not perfect, <laughs> but I don't see any problem. I, I play the game on SDR, so I compare native HDR games with the same game on SDR, with my trick, with auto HDR from Windows 11, they all look the same. When it comes to near black and the colors, they look about the same. Okay, HDR is always a little bit more saturated as it is supposed to have a wider color gamut, but they are about the same. But HLG does look incorrect. The colors are incorrect and sometimes it can look a wild. But it is better than SDR, 100%. I still recommend it, not for the PC though. For the PC, I much rather use this, uh, these tricks that I share with you. So let me know if you have any questions, especially, uh, I wanted to explain you this in case you have a different display. You can, um, you can understand how to get a similar result and understand why, uh, why I recommend this and why this looks so fantastic. Okay. So basically the games are double limited. We have to double limit the black level and to get the maximum peak brightness, we have to understand what the game, we have to know what the game is trying to push. And we can do that by taking a screenshot. And because we are using that SDR, HDR slider, the behavior is always the same, so we don't have to verify that anymore. We just try one game, we, you can verify that, okay, it's 498, the max CLL. So you know already, and it's going to be the same behavior on every single game. So this trick is going to work exactly the same for every single game, no matter what. So I don't care that the game supports HDR or not. And also, finally, before I end the video, I mentioned this before, but for every single auto HDR supported games, and by the way, this game in a couple days might support auto HDR because that's the, that's the behavior that I see. The auto HDR is always coming a little bit later, but it is coming. I'm almost sure this game is going to be supporting auto HDR. So for auto HDR supported games, you have to lower these fine-tuned dark areas to minus 16. For every single auto HDR supported games, you lower the fine tune dark areas to minus 16. Okay? And I would recommend you auto HDR uh, better than the, 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 the district, basically. They look the same, and you cannot tell the difference. No way. I've been trying to find the difference, but I would still go with the auto HDR because you know, if it supports the auto HDR, I mean, there is a difference. The auto HDR is darker. So the mid tones are darker, which is a good thing if you are not going to use black from insertion. But what I mean is that there's no difference near black. When you do this fine tune dark areas minus 16 that I am recommending you, there's no difference uh, near black between SDR, auto HDR supported games, the trick that I'm sharing with you, native HDR that it is correct that doesn't have black level race there's no difference but this trick i'm sharing with you is better for motion pro much better for black from insertion so that's what i use for black from insertion because auto hdr if you use hcig is too dim so you would need to use dynamic to mapping and i don't like dynamic to mapping <laughs> right it's the worst option let's say i always try to uh, Avoid that because dynamic tone mapping raises the black level. By the way, if you want to use this trick with dynamic tone mapping, uh, then you would use uh, a screen brightness 38. So no fine tune dark areas, a screen brightness 38 dynamic tone mapping on. And if you want to find the equivalent value values using fine tune dark areas, just open the test pattern that I show you. Turn on dynamic tone mapping and lower the black level until you get eight columns and crush the rest okay let me know if you have any questions